Tonight on To Catch a Swindler, we try and seek out Stuart Wool and Peter Taffin accused of securities fraud and not following generally accepted accounting principles. Stuart Wolf, Mr. Wolf, a quick word, please. Yes, yes, I know these allegations, and I cannot confirm or deny that I inflated the company's revenue by nearly $200 million, and that I recorded more than $60 million in phony revenue from fraudulent transactions during the first three quarters of 2001. So you definitely won't be spending four and a half years in prison, and won't be conceived for more than a dozen criminal charges. Oh dear. You better get going! Oh no, I'm going to run. Sure proves he wasn't guilty. Now get me, Peter Taffine. Are you the executive vice president of business development from Homestore.com? Yeah. What do you want? Did you agree to a settlement in which you will pay over $2.6 million to resolve SEC charges that you defrauded home store shareholders? I cannot confirm or deny that I inflated the company's online advertising revenues in 2001 and am or am not barred from serving as an officer or director of a public company. If they got Stuart, they'll probably get me, so I'm going to get out of here. I guess both of our guests have definitely not incriminated themselves here on To Catch a Swindler. Join us next week on To Catch a Swindler, where we look at other embezzlement schemes and memes. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always envisioned myself as a no BS type of businessman. I would dream of closing deals with world famous bankers and being so rich I could throw money into the harbor. This year, when I was offered the position of Chief Executive Officer at Home Store, I clamped down on that job and met my best friend, Executive VP of Business Development, Peter Taffy. We're just business partners. True, true, but hey, remember how we started? You're always forgetting. Whether it be your financial statements or what went on around the company. Let me jog your memory. The company was based in Santa Clara, California. It started in Delaware under the name of InfoTouch Corporation in 1993. And when we opened it to public in 1999, we became the homestore.com. What a hoot! We bamboozled our customers so well, we had almost several different lawsuits. We had been with the company, and to find out they have lied and taken advantage of their profits is absolutely despicable. Thus, we have filed a shareholder lawsuit against Homestore and are expecting a settlement valued at $71 million. Pay us back! All the way we arranged fraudulent round-trip transactions for the sole purpose of artificially inflating home store's revenue to exceed Wall Street analysts' expectations. What this company managed to do went completely over our heads. The defendants circumvented applicable accounting principles and lied to home store's independent auditors about the transactions at the same time that they exercised stock options at prices ranging from approximately $21 to $32 per share and reaped profits ranging from approximately $16,900 to $3.2 million, according to the SEC. Unbelievable. Peter Taffine. In March 2006, Peter Taffine pleaded guilty to one court of securities fraud and was sentenced by United States District Judge Percy Anderson to 30 months in federal prison and ordered to pay $240,000 in restitution to harmed home store investors. Stuart Wolf, at a previous trial in 2006, Wolf, at 46 years old, was convicted of more than a dozen criminal charges and sentenced to 15 years in prison. Wolf has consistently reported assets of greater than $8 million, prosecutors said, 
but now claims the value of his Westlake Village home has fallen by 20%, and that his hedge fund investments are worth 60% less than previously reported. A total of 11 defendants had previously been convicted in the case, including executives at companies that participated in the circular advertising deals that helped Home Store inflate its earnings. Homestore.com became Realtor.com and is now managed by Move Inc. 